to do this video in 15 minutes I wasn't expecting all these kids to be walking by awkward I'm just playing. dang I should have did this first okay okay we're getting somewhere and I like to be comfortable I gotta get at the comfort level when I'm doing stuff like this okay Okay, I kind of like this little car vibe. Anyways, all right, here we go. So today's video is about gaslighting and how to identify it. So number one, they try to add their stress. They try to add their stresses onto you. They tend to get closer to you and infest you with their drama. And that takes us back to the old saying, "Misery loves company." People are sometimes miserable and they want help getting out of their misery, but they don't know how to ask. So they just spill it onto whoever's around. People are going through a lot. We get it. I get it. But especially in, in a work situation you just can't let people do that to you you be trying to figure out why your at work life is becoming your home life because you keep bringing it back home and then it just why am I sliding then it just manifests into this bigger thing in your life when it shouldn't have been able to get that deep into your life because you didn't took on the drama that they're taking on that has nothing to do with you has nothing to do with you or your time that's that we're gonna move to reason number two number two is they try to take their troubles out on you and make you feel like their fuck-ups are your fault nobody's safe they would do this to anybody and if you just pay attention to conversations that go on around or just even talk to people you'll you'll just start to notice like What was I getting at? They try to take their troubles out on you and make you feel like their fuck-ups are your fault. Or like say something like... You were scrubbing the sinks wrong the other day and that's because you were using the wrong sink cleaner. And you look around and see that the only sink cleaner that was provided was the one that they gave yeah this is a stupid example okay I, I noticed as I was talking but I'm just saying this is just this is just for me to be able to make you understand an example <laughs> yeah you're using the wrong sink cleaner and then you look over at the one that was provided so it's just kind of like in reality it's like okay so what do you want me to use then since that's the only sink that was sink cleaner that was provided I want you to use this new one that I got so it's just like and it not be a joke because <laughs> it sounds like a joke it sounds like really but there are people out there that just do stuff like that just to make you really like and be serious just want to make you really feel like it's your fault for using that but it was the only one that was provided stupid stuff like that okay that's what I'm trying to get at I don't know they didn't buy the correct thing and they trying to put the blame on you and have you sit in there in, a, in an argument with them oh well you should have bought a you should have bought a new one why you give me this old one this is what you told me to use in the beginning it's just a waste of time I don't know if I'm going to keep that example because I just confused myself um, <laughs> number three they give you more responsibilities and make it seem like 
they're doing you a favor when in the long run it's to benefit their selfish blah, 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 blah. in the long run it's to benefit their selfish needs so just putting more work on you to make their life easier just to and and basically manip blah, 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 manipulate you into thinking that it's going to benefit you and it really doesn't benefit you at all you just get more stressed out and they get less stressed because they want to add their load onto you just because so you can they like to play on your sympathy that's what i will say they like to prey on people's sympathies and benefit themselves to make their life easier and somehow your life just gets harder mm. all right number four if you let it get harder though it doesn't have to be this way it does not have to be this way the fact that you are able to recognize it is what makes it better because it just keeps it just basically protects you from falling in the trap of their issues letting them play upon your sympathy or your empathy and convince you that they need help with their problems and you have to be the one to help them with it and that's that number four i'm sure we've all been through this they smile in your face but talk behind your back throw shade sometimes you catch them in the act hey <laughs> what they smile in your face but take they they smile in your face but talk behind your back throw shade sometimes you catch them in the act post whispering and they're shocked to see you so have you ever walked up on a conversation and you could just tell people were just talking about you and then they stop and Oh hey! Oh. oh, oh wait, she's coming, she's coming, she's coming, she's coming. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I, how you doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're 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 in a good mood today. All right, yeah, I hope you've been having a good day. Yeah. <laughs> what's going on? What's what's on your face? Are you okay? Are you okay? You're just not like bubbly today. What's going on? <laughs> you think she knows we were talking about her? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, just little stuff like that. Just don't even feed into it. Try to make you, make this issue seem like it's your issue. And then, I'm sorry, this van just pulled up and parked and I'm talking. Yeah, whatever they were talking about, it it just probably was just not even worth entertaining, to be honest. Like, uh, whatever, I'm here, I got one goal, and whatever y'all are going to decide to do, it's not going to work because... <sighs> What's the scripture? Um, no weapon... <laughs> no weapon formed against me shall prosper, and that's on period. So, <laughs> number five. They say they're going to do something, never do it, apologize, but never change their actions. So it's just like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to make sure I change that light bulb on Tuesday. Okay, Bill. Three Tuesdays later. Oh, yeah, I'm really going to go change that light bulb. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Bill. Oh, man, I knew I said that I was going to change the light bulb. Oh. Okay. It's just like... So... You change the light bulb or you don't change the light bulb. Either way it goes, I will survive. Like... It'll be a waste of time to entertain this light bulb situation. Because <laughs> that's what gaslighters do. They just want to make their issues your issues, make this small thing a big thing, and it's just, it's just not worth it. Mm -mm, it's not worth it. Okay. 
so I just look for the signs the gas light signs because don't nobody want to get accidentally caught on fire with their drama because they looking for somebody to ignite this spark and it doesn't have to be yo <laughs> all right so i think we did that in good timing um yeah hmm. this is funny i'll see y'all next thursday for another random topic make sure you like share and subscribe thank you all for watching bye bye <laughs>